What is going on guys? My name is Dustin. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing my complete steelbook collection for 2024. The last time I did one of these videos was in 2022 and I had 23 steelbooks in that video and let me just tell you there's a lot more. Um, I don't have as many steelbooks as some people on here do. Like a lot of, There's people that I like exclusively collect them but I'm happy with what I have uh, just because like I don't really come across too many steelbooks in my area, so I just don't, I really don't get them unless I buy them online. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get through this. I have them broken down kind of by section, and they're like in not any, like in real particular order, like in terms of like alphabetical. I'm not going to show you them in alphabetical order, but like I have like box sets or special editions. I have all the ones that don't have slip covers, and then the ones I do that, well, the ones I have that do have slip covers. Man, English is hard. Uh, it is currently 11 p.m. on April 14th when I'm filming this, so I am very tired. Uh, but I'm not going to have much in terms of an April haul video because bills this month have just been absolutely horrendous. I got one book. I have not picked up a single movie this month. If I do, it's probably going to be Night Swim, and that's the only movie that I'm going to get. So, like, it's going to be a very short video for the April haul. So I wanted to kind of do something to, to fill in. And I wanted to go over my steelbooks. I thought I uploaded one last year, but I didn't. Uh, but I, I'm going to do it now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the box sets or like the special editions first. And first up here, we have Halloween 2018. This is actually imported from France. This is a Titans of Cult limited edition, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this is literally all in French and somewhere on here is the Titan. Oh, there we go. Titans of Cult logo. Um, and this is for Halloween 2018. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to go into soup, like, a ton of detail with all these steelbooks, just so you know. But it comes with two enamel pins of Michael there, which are really cool. I was telling my wife I want to get, like, a cork board and start sticking enamel pins on it. And then it comes with this steelbook, which I actually really like. Sorry for the glare. I'm using a light box because my lighting in this room is terrible. And I have a light box that I don't use, so I'm using it. Um, but there we go. The steelbook is pretty cool. Again, it's for Halloween 2018. Nice matte finish. And, uh, I already have, like, a 4K copy of this. So, like, this steelbook literally just sits in this, this package. So, there's that. Gotta think of where I can put these. Gonna be moving some things around here. I'm not gonna be editing this video. We're just going for it. Next up, one of my favorite Steelbook box sets I have, and that is for the Hunger Games collection. Uh, my wife and I are really big fans of these movies, and this is a really nice box set by Lionsgate containing the first four films. Uh, whoever, I ordered this from Best Buy a long time ago. Whoever uh, opened the box really did a, a number with scratches, especially right here across like the spine. Some people really care about that. I don't, but this comes with the Hunger Games, the Hunger Games Catching Fire, Mocking Jay Part 1 and Part 2, and when you put them all together, it kind of makes like the Hunger Games logo. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this, but it is a really cool box set. If you look it up on YouTube, you can find people unboxing it. But we're kind of pressed for time tonight, so I'm not going to be showing everything in detail. Next up, I did do an entire video on this box set. This was a gift from my friend Jeff, and this is the Halloween trilogy. Uh, so like Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends, or H40, whatever you want to call it. I say Halloween 2018 all the time. Uh, but it comes in this really nice tin. I love this thing. This was very limited. Um, they only made so many. I think like 5,000 of these were made. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to to get one. Thanks to Jeff. But there you go. Pretty nice. Again, I did a video on that if you guys want to check it out. And then next up, I always forget that I have this because I, I literally set this on a bookshelf because I don't have room on my actual like movie show for it and I always think it's a book and that is the John Wick uh chapters one two and three uh steelbook box set this is a Best Buy exclusive and this set is awesome so if you've ever watched the John Wick movies specifically the third one uh he unalives a guy in the library with this book so it is uh it's pretty cool but again I'm not going to go into too much detail you can find people unboxing this but if you open it up like the first few pages are like actually a book like in Russian which is crazy and then you have the steel books in there so really cool set uh, I, I really really like it and I believe you can actually still find it um, 
I don't know about that Halloween set, but I'm, you can find the other sets. Now we're going to get into the ones that are don't have slip covers. These are just standard steel books, and I'm just going to start going through the pile. First up here, we have Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. This is one of my favorite horror comedy movies ever made. I think that I watched this movie on Netflix a super, super, super long time ago, and I loved it. And it's one of those movies that, like, anytime I've hung out with friends and we wanted something to watch, this is a movie that I put on for them, and, and they've always liked it. It's so good. The Steelbook is awesome. I love the artwork. Um, it is super scratched up because it does have shelfware. I'm not one of those people that put my Steelbooks in the protectors. I've thought about it, but to be honest with you... It just makes it more work because I watch my movies. I don't just sit on a shelf. So there we go. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Love that steelbook. Next up, we have the Scream Factory steelbook for Carrie. Uh, this is the original one from 76. And I love this movie. And this steelbook art is great. Uh, my buddy Eric actually picked this up for me uh, for Christmas because I was on the hunt for this one. And they started stocking it at Walmart. And he was at a Walmart that had them. So... He uh, was nice enough to snag this for me. This steelbook is absolutely gorgeous. I love what Scream Factory does with the steelbooks. I honestly need to start getting more of them. But we have Carrie. Good movie. Really want to read the book. Next up, Walmart put these out um, last year around Halloween. And they were like movie collection steelbooks. And out of all of them, I only got two because they were movies that I wanted. I had the other movies already, like physically. I didn't need to buy the steelbooks. And they were kind of expensive. Uh, but right here, we have the Blair Witch Project and Blair Witch. Uh, I believe these are just standard Blu-ray steelbooks. Lionsgate put these out. So you get both movies in here. Um, really cool. Pretty simple. It just, they look great. I don't know. I really like them. So you get... Two movies in one steelbook. And I believe these ones are on separate discs. They are. They are on separate discs. Next up here, we have The Batman on 4K. One of my favorite movies to come out in the, in the DC universe. Uh, Robert Pattinson absolutely crushed it. He is Batman. I don't care what anybody says. Obviously, Christian Bale is great. Um, I do like Ben Affleck. But like this, this... This can go so many ways. I'm actually excited for the Penguin show that's coming out. Um, I will, in fact, be watching that. And if they release it, I will be picking it up because it is going to tie in with this movie. And I love this movie. Uh, but this was the U.S. version right here that you could get at Best Buy. Uh, I love this steelbook. You got Batman's face with the Riddler question mark and then that symbol on the back. Just a cool steelbook. Keeping with the Batman theme, we got... The Batman. These are both 4K steelbooks, by the way. Um, this release right here, which I believe you can actually get in the US now, which is kind of shitty. This release specifically that I got was an Amazon Italy exclusive. And my friend Jeff imported this. He paid an insane amount of money. He's never told me the exact amount, but I know it was in, in the triple digits. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite steelbooks in my collection. And it just, it means a lot to me. It was, it was a great gift. And it's just really cool because I believe this was the first import I've actually gotten ever. Um, but there you go. I love, love, love this shot on the front. The Riddler on the back. And just to prove to you that it is, in fact, in Italian. It is, uh, there you go. This, this came from all the way from Italy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that this traveled this far and I have it in my collection. Next up, we have 8 Mile. This was exclusive to Groove. Groove is a really great website if you guys want to find movies for cheap. They run deals all the time. Sometimes you can get three 4Ks for $30. Um, three Blu-rays for $15. They run steelbook sales all the time. This was an exclusive Steelbook 2 group. This is 8 Mile on 4K. Um, I really, really like this Steelbook. And I actually, my, my friend Jeff that I had mentioned, uh, he's a big fan of Eminem and a huge fan of this movie. So I actually got him the Steelbook as well and had it sent to him. But uh, there we go. Great movie. Next up, Childhood right here. Good Burger, Keenan and Kel. I mean, this was, this is an awesome steelbook. I, I found this at Target. It was really cheap. It was like 15 bucks. It's a Blu-ray steelbook. 
Uh, this is when uh, Paramount was putting out, like, and they still do. They put out pretty cheap steelbooks every now and again. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out on Paramount. Uh, they've been doing some really good things for physical media. But this steelbook is awesome, and I love this movie. I have not watched it in a long time. Next up, we have Ghostbusters. This was a Project Pop Art series that was exclusive to Best Buy, and I really wish they would continue this theme with Ghostbusters Afterlife, but they didn't, and it sucks because I have... You'll see. You'll see. But this is the, the female cast of Ghostbusters. Uh, a lot of people don't like this movie. I like this movie, to be completely honest. I don't care what you say. The cool thing is, is when you open these up, the artwork blends together. So this is the female cast of Ghostbusters... It's not as bad as the internet makes it seem. And then we have my favorite Ghostbusters movie, the original Ghostbusters. And this steelbook is gorgeous. These, this Project Pop Art series was so, so cool. And you can still find these. You, you have to get them on the secondary market, but you should be able to find these for a pretty decent price. Uh, I think I got these three together for like 30 bucks from a guy on Macari. So I paid $10 a steelbook essentially. And then here we have Ghostbusters 2. Uh, again, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful artwork. And a great movie. Um, I'm really excited for Frozen Empire. I will be picking it up when it comes out. And my wife and I will probably go on a Ghostbusters binge again. One of my favorite vampire movies. We have Fright Night. This was the Sony 4K Steelbook. Uh, this, for a while, was pretty hard to get your hands on. It sold out pretty quick, and they just recently re-released it when Walmart kind of took over the physical media thing. Um, so if you look around, you will find this steelbook. Uh, it, you, it is it is pretty pricey. I think it comes in around 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, but I got this when it came out. So like I, I jumped on this pretty early. This steelbook is gorgeous. Nice matte finish. There we go. I love this movie. One of my favorite vampire movies. Next up, we have Forrest Gump. I can't remember. I think I might have found this at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Um, I really like this movie. My wife likes this movie. And this steelbook, it's simple, but it's so good. You have the famous quote on the back, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So cool steelbook. I like it. Great movie. Next up here, we have Rambo First Blood. Um, so fun fact, this is the only Rambo movie I own. I want the collection. Uh, and the only reason I own this is because I was on Whatnot, another good place to get movies because people do auctions. And this guy was running like a $2, it was like 2 or $3 Blu-ray, you know, like auction. And I got this steelbook for 3 bucks, Like brand new sealed $3 steelbook because he was just clearing inventory. And I picked it up because for that price, you'd be stupid not to. Rambo First Blood. Then next up here, we have The Evil Dead. Yes, The Evil Dead, the original. Love this movie. Great steelbook. Again, Groove. This was like five bucks on Groove. And then here we have another Groove steelbook that was really cheap, like $5. We have E.T. And I love this steelbook. I don't know what it is about this artwork on the front, but I love it. Nice matte finish. Uh, this one did come with like a little dent in the top. Again, I know some people care about that. I don't. It's just a, it's just a case. I'm not too particular. I know some people that would probably drive crazy, but it really doesn't bother me. E.T. Next up, we have Django Unchained. I actually found this in the $5 bin at Walmart, and my Walmart hasn't even had the $5 steelbook set. All these other ones are getting 4K steelbooks from Best Buy. Not mine. Uh, next time my wife and I travel to the next town over, I will definitely be looking in their steelbook section. But Django Unchained. We have Divergent. I'm a big fan of these movies. Um, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. Uh, I have the two of the three, but I could not ever find the third one, which I think is Insurgent is the one I need, or Allegiant. I need one of the two, and we couldn't find it. But these were in the $5 bin at Walmart. Really good movies. I don't know. I, I really like them. Here we have Dexter, New Blood. I love Dexter. Great show. The spinoff was just as good. And I hope that they do more. I don't want to believe Dexter, spoiler alert, is actually dead. Um, but, you know, I don't know. 
I, I love this show though. And this is a really cool steel book. And when I got it, even my wife was like, oh, that, that's awesome. But great, great show. Here we have the Shout Factory uh, Dances with Wolves Collector's Edition Steelbook. Now, they say there was only 10,000 of these made. I don't know how true that is or if, like... Because I know sometimes Lion Gates, like, puts, like, first pressing in there so you know it's, like, the first run of them. I still see these at Walmart all the time. Um, so I don't really know if there was only 10,000 of them made or not. But it came with, like, a little sticker that said 10,000 made. Uh, but there we go. Dances with Wolves. Here we have Straight Outta Compton. This is a great movie. If you are a fan of music and rap music and, and looks like the music history, this is a must watch for you. This movie is amazing and I love it. So good. Rob Zombie's Lords of Salem. I have only, <coughs> oh my God. I've only ever watched this movie one time and it wasn't recently. Um, I don't think I've watched it since I picked it up, but I need to because I do enjoy some of Rob Zombie's movies. Not all of them, but some of them. Next up, we have The Lego Movie 2, the second part, uh, on Steelbook. And this was another whatnot find. Again, I got this really, really cheap, like three or four bucks. And it was brand new, and I just love the way it looks. And I actually really like the Lego Movie. Here we have another one of those Lionsgate Walmart steelbooks that they put out. This is the only other one I got. This is the Leprechaun Collection. Uh, this has all eight movies in it. Uh, say what you want about these movies. I find them absolutely hilarious. My wife hates them. And I actually like went through, after I got this, I, I went through like a period of just probably like a month where I just watched these movies. And my wife was like, they are literally so stupid. And she would just walk out of the room every time I had one of these movies on. So I watched a lot without her, but Leprechaun Collection, all eight movies. Here we have Kin. This was actually a really surprising movie. Um, I didn't know how I'd feel about it, but I just watched it not too long ago for the first time. This was found in the $5 Walmart bin a while back, and I watched it, and it's just so nice. The colors on this steelbook are beautiful. I love the front artwork. It looks great. Here we have Kill Her Goats. This is like cool. Like the, the actual goat man here is like debossed, which is pretty cool. Um, again, I love the colors on it. This movie is absolutely horrendous. It is a very B-rated movie. Horrendous movie. But if you're into bad movies, you'll really like it. So, I mean, I enjoyed it because I love shitty low-budget movies. So I did like that one. Okay, so the other movie I have is Insurgent. I couldn't find Allegiant. Uh, but there's the front. I love the back of this steelbook. I think that's such a cool shot. And I, I don't know. I really feel like these movies are pretty slept on. I feel like not. I don't hear a lot of people talk about them. Here we have Scarface. Just a simple steelbook again. Has a little dent. Don't really care. If that bothers you. I'm so sorry. Just says the world is yours on the back. This movie is just classic. This is the steelbook that started it all, and this is my wife's fault because I'm a big fan of Rick and Morty, and for the longest time, I needed season four and season five to complete my collection. I have six and seven. I just got season seven actually last month, and uh, my wife got me this for Christmas, didn't know it was a steelbook, and this was the first steelbook in my movie collection, and this is what started the steelbook addiction, so... You know, I, I can actually, like, confidently blame my wife for, like, me wanting to get Steelbooks now. So, yeah, I love this. It's the only Rick and Morty season that I have on Steelbook. So it does look a little goofy on the shelf with the other ones, but it is what it is. It still looks really good. Here we have Maximum Overdrive on Steelbook from Vestron Video. Uh, I'm going to start collecting all the Vestron Steelbooks. There's two coming out in May. I'm definitely pre-ordering those. I'm not missing out because I almost missed out on the two that came out in March, but I didn't. Uh, love this movie. Love Stephen King in general. This is another one of my favorite steelbooks. This is Mean Girls on Blu-ray, and it looks like the burn book. Yes, I like Mean Girls. I just actually watched this with my daughter for the first time because she's never seen it. We just watched it probably like a, not even a month ago. 
And my wife and I actually watched Mean Girls, like the the remake, which was kind of like the musical. And for it being a musical and us not really being fans of musicals, it was pretty funny. We we thoroughly enjoyed it. But I love this steelbook. This movie is so fetch. Yeah, I went there. I said that. Next up, one of the best comedies to come out ever, and that is Super Bad. Again, this was like the Project Pop Art series that was through Best Buy. Um, you can find these steelbooks so stupidly cheap. And uh, it, it's simple. I really kind of wish this was the image that was on the front. But it is what it is. I just wish they, like, swapped them. I feel like this would look so much better in the front cover. But there we go. Super bad. McLovin. Classic. Here we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This was one that you could find on Best Buy's website for, like, $10 for the longest time. If you still can, I recommend picking it up. This is the original one. And it just looks so good. This back image is absolutely amazing. Um, I love this movie. Not a fan of all the movies in the franchise, but I definitely do love the original. Here we have They Live, Screen Factory Steelbook. My wife bought me this for my birthday, and I love this movie. Uh, I mean, it's, it's John Carpenter. I mean, you, John Carpenter is one of my favorite directors, bar none. Love what he does. Love this movie. So good. More Vestron videos. These are more recent. You guys have seen these if you watched my pickup videos. We have Little Monsters, Vestron video. And again, I'm not going to spend too much time on these. And we have Shivers from Vestron video. Again, I'm pre-ordering the ones for May. I'm getting those. I don't even care. I have to have them in my collection. Creepshow, Scream Factory, 4K Steelbook. Uh... I love the colors on it, but honestly, other than that, the Steelbook's pretty underwhelming considering the other 4K Steelbooks you guys saw from them, like Carrie and They Live. I feel like this one could have been a little bit cooler, but I like the colors on it, and the blue is actually really nice. The camera is not going to do it justice. It's a really nice color. Here we have Zoolander. Great movie. This is the blue Steelbook, you know, because it calls itself Blue Steel. And then there we go. There's the back. I have not watched this movie in quite some time either, but this was found at Big Lots for like five bucks a long time ago. You know, going back to the Scream Factory steelbooks, just to show you like how good these are, we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Uh, yes, I'm excited for the Sega one. Yes, I'm excited for the entire pooh universe. I will own every single movie that they put out. I don't care. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Here we go. Great steelbook. Looks so good. I don't know what they were doing with Creepshow though. And then here... Finally, the last one for the non-slip covered, we have the Top Gun Maverick. This is the Walmart exclusive 4K steelbook, which comes with this cool lenticular magnet. And then underneath, you have that shot there. I love this movie. Uh, I actually have been kind of wanting to re-watch it, but I feel like I should watch the original. My wife just kind of jumped into this movie and never seen the original, but she did like this. Now we're going to go ahead and get into all the slip-covered ones. A lot of these are 4Ks and Lionsgate steelbooks. Uh, starting off strong here, we have The Cabin in the Woods. There we go. This steelbook actually has a spoiler if you've never seen the movies. That's all I'm going to show you. I'm not going to take them all out and open them up or anything like that, but I will kind of just push the slip up or push the movie up so you can kind of see what we're working with there. Great movie, though. Here we have American Psycho. This is one of my favorite steelbooks. Again, this re-released from Walmart. You can find this for $25. This was the Best Buy exclusive one, which is a little different from the Walmart one. And for the longest time, this was my, my Grail steelbook. But look at this. Oh, how could you not love that? The steelbook is amazing. Here we have another Rob Zombie movie. This is 31. Uh, another gorgeous steelbook. This is not 4K. It's Blu-ray. But I really like kind of this artwork there. So like you have like, you know, the, the main people here and then like the, the psychos underneath kind of standing in the same stances, which is pretty cool. This steelbook looks really good. Uh, I really like the back too. I don't know. I just, I just think it looks so good. Uh, this movie gets a lot of shit. It's not Rob Zombie's best, but I don't hate it. Here we have a Rob Zombie movie that is super hated, and that is Three from Hell. And this steelbook is another one that looks really good. Skulls underneath. So nice. One of my favorite war movies. We have The Hurt Locker. This is another absolutely fantastic steelbook. Look at that. 
Love this movie. My wife really liked this movie as well. Here we have Halloween H2O. This is a Paramount steelbook. And uh, for whatever reason, the slip covers that Paramount puts on their steelbooks kind of suck. Uh, but there you go. Not everybody's favorite movie, but it's a movie that I enjoy nonetheless. I love the Halloween franchise. All of them. Here we have Hack Saw Ridge. This movie made my wife ball her eyes out. It's very simple steelbook, but very, very gorgeous. Gorgeous artwork on this. I know I said I wasn't a fan of musicals, but I do like this movie and I love this steelbook, and that is La La Land. This is a fantastic steelbook. There we go. Boop. Boop. I will show you that one because it does look really good. Um, again, not the biggest fan of musicals, but one of the ones that I, I can tolerate. Here we have Hell or High Water. This is another really, really good movie and another really good steelbook. Highly recommend it. We have Reservoir Dogs, where the ear comes off. So sick. This was a steelbook again. This this kind of re-released uh, through Walmart as well. This is one that was, uh, when it came out with Best Buy, it went pretty quick. Um, here we have The Punisher. Look at that. Looks so good. Here we have Spiral from the Saw franchise. Nothing too crazy with this steelbook, but it is gorgeous. I do love, like, the, the pop of pink. I don't know if this is a first pressing of the steelbook or not. No, it is not. This must be a re-release. Uh, but this steelbook was super expensive for a while. And uh, it w really went down on price for Black Friday a couple years ago. One of my newest pickups, we have I Know What You Did Last Summer. This is a Mill Creek Blu-ray steelbook. And it looks really good. Really like it. Dread also just picked up last month. Um, nothing too crazy with the slipcover, but it is a cool steelbook. Then we have The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbird and Snakes. Really, really like this. I thought it was a really good prequel. And uh, my wife and I watch this, and it made us want to rewatch all the other Hunger Games. Here we have Warm, Body, Warm Bodies, and it kind of bums me out because like the slipcover kind of was torn when I got it but this is a another absolutely gorgeous steelbook and a really good movie um, I do really really like it next up here we have wonder this was a blu-ray steelbook from Target uh, Lionsgate there you go good movie cool steelbook and then we have from the year I was born Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren in Universal Soldier. Uh, this movie is so goofy, but so freaking awesome at the same time. And it's a, it's a really cool steelbook. But guys, that is it. That is all the steelbooks that I own. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a bit of a longer video. Um, but yeah, you guys are awesome. I love you. And I'll see you at the end of the month with a very, very small haul. Unless like some miracle happens and I just get a bunch of movies in the mail. Uh, it's going to be just a very small haul, if anything at all. Thank you, guys. I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. As always, I'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye.